Crypto Lightsaber back with another video guys. We're going to talk about Zen Crypto. This is an update from yesterday's video uh, because when I spoke about Zen in yesterday's video, it had not yet launched on MEXC Exchange. However, as you can see, it has now gone live on MEXC Exchange and it was a bullish launch yesterday. It absolutely took off to almost two cents, approximately 0.018 cents. So almost two cents at the peak at the time. I've minted a few more wallets since, but at the peak at the time with the wallets that I had, um, that would have put me at about $185,000, guys, for a free mint, free tokens, around about 10 million tokens, right? So that is absolutely insane. This is why, I mean, crypto is just a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, um, guys, I mean, yeah, this is why I do crypto, okay, guys? Because the amount of free money that I've been given from crypto alone is life-changing for many people, right? But as you can see, um, MEXC Exchange has listed it. They provided their own liquidity. Um, and as you can see now, it has had a sell-off. We expected that would happen. There's people that did one-day mints, right? Selling a little $300 and so on. At the end of the day, if that's your strategy, kudos to you. All right, guys, me personally, that's not my strategy. I went through my strategy yesterday. If you haven't seen that video, go and watch that video. I will touch on it briefly in this video, but it's just a kind of summary. Um, but as you can see, it's going sideways now. So this looks like it could be a good accumulation zone and things like that. But I don't want to, you know, this is not financial advice. Do your own research. It's a very early baby chart. Okay, guys, but just for the sake of the video, it looks like it's going sideways. Uh, we don't know. How this thing's gonna act or, or react to uh you know we, we don't know how this thing's gonna go it's very low in liquidity um in fact i believe there was about one hundred and seventy thousand dollars added from uh, mexc global um some people were saying that it was low liquidity if you go on uniswap it's going to be super low in liquidity um so you know when you go on uniswap it will show you the price impact you could be getting hit with like a 60 percent price impact if you were trying to try and dump your tokens for example okay guys remember it's a community project liquidity is being provided by the community okay if you go to the actual twitter you will see the pin tweet it says no pre-mint no admin keys no listings on central exchanges right but obviously that has changed first of all with mexc global right and now we have a tweet from Jack Levin who says that Huobi Global is going to be listing Zen. I'm not sure if it's today, tomorrow, but they are going to be listing Zen. And not only Huobi, but Gate.io will list Zen Crypto. So I think that is super bullish. However, that doesn't mean that he's gone back on what he said here. Remember, this is a community project. These exchanges will be listing this independently, providing their own liquidity it's not it's not going to be paid uh it's not going to be paying exchanges to list a token or anything like that all right guys and basically exchanges they see the hype they see the amount of wallets right if you go to the dash you'll see 483,421 users uh well sorry let's just clarify it's not 483,000 users it's 483,000 wallets right uh, uh plus uh, and seven of those are mine 100 are probably someone else's 300 are probably another guys i, I think i saw trayvon james talking about 300 plus wallets right there's gonna be people that did several wallets okay guys but this looks good in terms of metrics right if someone like starbucks said let's look at the user base for this particular coin would we accept this token to pay for one of our coffees oh 483,000 users it's got a huge community Let's accept it. All right, guys. So that would look good for things like that. However, we know that these are not accurate metrics in terms of users, but is accurate metrics in terms of wallets. Okay, guys. So going back to the exchanges, right? They see the amount of users and they think we want in on this. We don't want to miss out on this tr uh, potential trading volume. And you have to remember that not everybody on these exchanges are familiar with decentralized exchanges they're not familiar with how to use uniswap and um, they're not familiar with how to use pancake swap they're not familiar with how to set up a metamask and things like that because remember exchanges like this they're offering their services to them they're, they're making it easy for people to get into crypto right and it's, if it's not your keys not your crypto we understand that right but 
there is obviously a place in the market for people who really don't understand it, people who are managing other people's portfolios and things like that, uh, to be using the exchanges. And they might see this and just think, you know what, Zen Crypto is getting a lot of hype, let's buy some Zen. And clearly, we've seen that there is a demand for it, right? We saw the buying demand over here. And of course, you know, you buy it down here, right? You buy it down here, let's just look at the price, right? It pumps um, about 200%. And then what do people do? They take profit, right? That's normal, okay? So right now, we can expect the trading activity, uh, but in the long run, that's gonna look bullish for the token, in my opinion, right? And in a bull run, what can this price hit, especially with low liquidity? The price could go absolutely nuts. Take out this all-time high, there's always the potential for that, okay, guys? So, yeah, I mean, I just wanted to highlight the fact that this is getting a few more exchanges and um, it's also in the top five in terms of unique senders, or it was at least 13 hours ago. As you can see, you have Teva, Wrapped Ethereum, USD coin, and coming just behind Shiba Inu, we have Zen Crypto, super bullish. Also, we have, what do we have here? A burn leaderboard. All right, guys. So Ethereum being burned. Um, let's see. Where is Zen on here? Zen. Oh, it's right at the top. Zen Crypto burned 1,287 Ethereum. So they are leading the burn leaderboard. And you can see a reduction of the supply from October the 8th. 50% uh, of Ethereum gas fees get burned. Bullish for Ethereum. Okay, so if you didn't know that, so when you mint Zen, right? It helps Ethereum because 50% of the gas fees that you use to mint get burned. If you go on the main website, right? It's got staking. Uh, you can stake for 20% APY. So when you claim, you can claim and stake, or you can just claim it liquid. And then, you know, Bob's your uncle, you know, you're making gains for from a free mint and gains upon gains. All right, guys. So let me know what you think in the comments, guys. I think it's a bullish project. We'll have to wait and see how it plays out over the years, but hey, it's looking all good from where I'm standing. Free money is always the best money, in my opinion. Um, just like I said in a previous video, um, you know, crypto punks are free. The Uniswap token was free. Um, I believe people were getting bored apes and ape coin for free, things like that. Um, what else? Hex was free for Bitcoin holders and Ethereum holders once upon a time. Um, yeah, the best things in life are free, guys. So, uh, right, just before we close, I said I was going to quickly summarize my strategy. So my strategy, as you know, if you saw yesterday's video, um, I did a seven-day uh, mint on my first one. I did a 14-day one. I did a 21-day and a 28-day one. And then I did a 100-day one. I have since done a 200-day one and a 364-day one which has basically doubled the amount of Zen that I had uh, yesterday by doing those additional wallets, right, over a longer period of time. However, if I claim on day seven and I remint on that wallet for 21 days with the other stakes that I have over 28 days, I'll be able to mint, uh, I'll be able to claim and mint more Zen every single Saturday, right? So all I have to do is remember saturday okay guys um so yeah when i claim the 14 day one i wouldn't claim and mint again for 21 days when i claim the 21 day one i will claim and mint again for 21 days the 28 day one i will claim and mint again for 21 days and therefore every seven days going forward i'll be able to claim and mint more zen so that is my strategy i haven't done 100 wallets i'm not doing that many wallets i don't have time to be keeping spreadsheets and you know, um, kind of keeping up to keeping up with what's going on like that. I've got a few wallets, you know, not super greedy, you know, at the end of the day, I don't, if you can call it greed, um, it's free money. If it's up for grabs, you know, take it, do whatever, whatever is your strategy that will work for you. Uh, nothing to do with me, but that is just my strategy. All right, guys, let me know what you think in the comments. That is the end of the video. If you are not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe tick the little bell for notifications if you like the video that helps with the youtube algorithm youtube will begin to recommend my content to people who may not have seen it otherwise that being said it's the end of the video i'll see you guys in the very next one